True Earths incorporates the True Earths man YDE identity and the Daniel Hechter brands. Indeed, and then it acquired a UK-based footwear business, which has got about 160 branches called The Office Group, which apparently is a woman's office footwear. You must look out for it next time yeah. on my travels. Market Indeed. cap, 33.4 billion rand, price to earnings ratio 11.3, dividend yield of 5.9%. Here's the share price graph. Mm. Mm. They're getting a bit grumpy about the impact on their business of the national credit regulator and all of those moves, Joseph. Yep. I mean, they now initiated some sort of a legal action around that. They think the regulations have been unduly harsh for the credit-based retailers. Well, certainly, and I think they've got the biggest exposure in terms of credit uh, compared to the other retailers. So they saw more on credit. Uh, they have taken a, a, a bad hit in terms of the share price, as you can see from, uh, from the chart there. But I think from a recovery perspective, they look for much better. Uh, PE ratio of about 12, uh, 12 um, mm -hmm. and also the dividend yield far much higher than the other two, you know, so almost you 2 percent higher. You would opt for a higher dividend yield, obviously, if you were uh, looking, in, in if, you, if you play that game. In a low growth uh, economy, certainly you're looking for a uh, higher dividend because at least that's possibly more it's certain than the capital. Yes, coming through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nick, Paul, Look, as far as the add? product though is concerned, True Earths, Daniel Hechter, they're right in the focus zone for uh, the Zaras and uh, Top Shops and others of the world. So that's a concern. Uh, yes, they do have a few other bits and pieces going on there, but that worries me. They're quite strong in children's clothes, Earth Child, Nachi, all of that sort of stuff. I don't know. I didn't know that those sell. fell into the fold as well. Yeah, so that's you know been an area of focus. But for you know, them. Nachi cotton on huge competition. Yeah, they got the those ones. Space. The children's clothing uh, over I think two years ago yeah. uh, when they started entering into the market. So that was as well. Prior to that, they didn't have it all. But remember, the biggest spend in terms of clothing is from women and children. So mm -hmm. that positioning in terms of them getting a child um, uh, brands is quite good for them. Manage, oh, yes. Management succession, one final point. Yes, Michael, Mark Michael Mark has Mark's basically been there forever. Since 1991, he's been running the business. Uh, just a, a little bit of trivia. They I used to say Mark Michael. You know, the singer <laughs> could never get it right. <laughs> he was going to step down a couple of years ago. Then they had a failed appointment of a European chap who came yes, back. Sir. Then he left. Now I see they promoted uh, an executive director onto the main board whose name is Douglas Dare, who sounds like a superhero, so maybe he can take the business Douglas forward. Douglas Dare can take you with to new heights. Let's see. Cape Hot or not? Hot or not? I'm going to say, I'm going to be careful on this one as well and say not hot, pending some sort of trend in the hot trading or not, update. Joseph? I'll go hot on this one. <laughs>